you can see, uh, the beverages have been consumed. Everyone has had a couple of minutes of rest. And now it is time to get back onto the field to resume play and see forth to the rest of the day's allotted overs. The sun is now beaming down very brightly. We can actually see shadows that the players are giving off. Very exciting stuff. Um, after such a miserable day for so long, it's nice to see uh, a little bit of colour. And we're about to see the resumption of play, which is exciting. So, let's see the, what this final session has to offer us. First ball in the new session. And drives it, and fielded there by in the covers for a dot ball. comes into bowl and it goes through the cover region and the two fielders at point and cover point have to save it one, they go, oh, okay, they're happy with just the two Comes into bowl and defended. Comes into bowl and leaves it alone. Comes into bowl. Ooh! Interesting leave there. <laughs> and leaves alone. End of the over. Comes into bowl and leaves it alone. So this is the 60 second over. Can Diamond Creek first of all get to triple figures and then can they advance further towards and ooh, at probably would have missed off stump and it would have probably pitched outside the line of leg not out now it's a question it's a battle of attrition because uh, clearly Diamond Creek know that they can't score wildly in advance a big 170 score comes into bowl and ooh, steps over to the leg side in order to try to get outside the line, try to leg glance it, but doesn't able to make enough bat onto it. So they know, Diamond Creek knows that the best chance they have of getting 100 or 110 is through just surviving the overs. So they are not going to be tr doing anything wild and leave it alone. And as for uh, Riverside, Riverside know that um, they're not they're not getting the mistakes and the big exclamation balls that would really build up pressure. It's mostly through just dot balls that they are building up pressure, not through great deliveries. And leaves it alone again. 
uh, we've had very few appeals either for Caught Behind or the LBW and we've had very few plays and misses. Mostly it's for dot balls just the ball being a very in a very good place and it being very well fielded. And Leg glances it and it goes through the gap in the extra mid wicket region. They've got one and they're happy with one. End of the over. Comes into ball and defend it. Fielded by the fielder at mid wicket. This is the 63rd over. And tries to leg glance it, but fielded at mid wicket again. Tonight, the final game of international cricket broadcast on free to wear, the final of the T20s, Australia versus England. We'll be there watching it. Uh, not Channel 8, but people at Channel 8 will be watching it. And then that's the end of the cricket season in terms of international sport. And you've just got to keep following the Sheffield Shield until that comes to an end. So, the cricket season is coming towards an end. The Ashes are over, the One Days are over, and soon the T20s will be over. And there'll be nothing left but the Sheffield Shield. And a thick inside edge fielded in the covers. So right now, Riverside have such a, uh, an, an incredible team, uh, having not lost a game, they clearly have a great sense of what they want to do, how they want to do it, when and where, and they just are able to execute their plans exactly how they want. Um, it's not, you know, it's not the color, most colourful or prettiest form of cricket, but they just are doing what needs to be done to succeed. It's uh, quite a sight. Comes into ball and defends it off the front foot field in the short extra cover and another maiden still 74 for 8. They're getting through their overs very fast Riverside not dawdling about and leaves it alone outside the off stump. The changeover from one over to another is very fast. They are just running to their fielding positions at the end of each over to get to the next over. Comes into bowl. Oh, it's out of play and a miss. No. Comes into ball and tries to play the cut shot, but it misses the bottom edge. Dot ball. Comes into ball and tries to play it defensively off the back foot for another dot ball. There are sh the player shadows are now visible. Uh, what? Finally, after all this day, we've finally got some nice sunlight. After a very miserable, overcast, rainy day. Really a shocking day. And defends it, and it goes to the gully. Comes into bowl. Oh, leg glances it. And it goes through the gap in the square leg region. And they got one. They're going to go for two. The fielder still doesn't have it. They've got to go for three on the arm. And they go for the third. And they make it. 
Very good running there, very good shot. It's 77 for 8. This is the 65th over. And works it all oh, down to the third man region. They've gotten one. They're going to get two. Will they go for a third on the arm? No, they won't. They're happy to jog through for the second. Two more runs. So, when this over is completed, there will be 15 overs to go. And they're currently on 79, so they need 21 more runs to reach triple figures. So, can they get 21 runs off 15 overs? And defends it off the front foot, fielded by the short extra cover for a dot ball. Comes into ball and tries to leg glance it, fielded by mid wicket. Comes into ball and draw. Oh. Wow, what a great piece of fielding there by the theatre at mid-off. He just saved three, maybe three runs, maybe two. Wonderful, wonderful fielding. So they just get one run from that shot straight down the ground. Comes into ball. And plays it again off the back foot, trying to work into the leg side, but not getting enough on it. Comes into ball. Ooh! Playing a miss. It's 80 for 8. Continuing to bowl from the Elizabeth Street end. Comes in the ball. Ooh, that one bounced a bit more. Playing a mess. Comes in the ball. And tries to work it away. And they're going to go for a single. Oh, made it. So another run there. Having to, getting to change over from a right-hander to a left-hander is uh, obviously a lot of extra work for the, um, for the uh, Riverside fielders and for the Riverside bowler. Comes in the ball. And leaves it alone. The wind is blowing, the sun is shining. You have to put your sunglasses on now for the first time all day. And leaves it alone. Comes in the ball and defends it. Comes in 
ball. Oh, he goes through. And they get a run. Well, bit of a fumble by the gully. And the back backward point area has to pick it up. Two runs, 82 for eight. Well, I don't think there's any more risk of the ball um, getting damp from the outfield. Now it's a question of uh, the ball drying out with the sun. Comes into bowl. Oh, no, that's a thick inside edge. Now they've decided to bring on the left arm uh, fast medium bowler back on for, the, uh, for a second spell. He bowled a very long opening spell. And now I uh, would have supposed he would bowl out for the rest of the innings by one way or the other. And drives it into short, extra cover. Seems like uh, he's once again bowling his slanty uh, angled balls to try to um, ping the batsman in front of the stumps. And leaves it alone. Comes into ball and leaves it alone. into ball and leaves it alone. Comes into ball and blows on the leg side and it's going down to the fine leg region and they are happy with one. So an extra run there. It's 83 for 8. So the 8th wicket fell in the 55th over. We're now into the 68th over. So it's not going to be far away before the 13 over gap of this partnership from, the, the, from this current point in time from the last wickets. Which gives you a sense of how well this, these two have gone in uh, stopping the bleeding after losing four wickets and four overs. Um, and they've scored 14 runs. So about... And hits it back to the bowler and he kicks it into the non-striker. Um, so they're scoring about one run per over so far in this partnership, which I think is fine. Um, so they've added 14 runs, survived about 13 overs. So they're making it through and we're nearly up to the final 10 overs of this innings. And leaves it alone. Comes into ball and leaves it alone again. Comes into ball and leaves it alone. Comes into ball and leaves it alone again. That's amazing. 83 for 8 still. Comes into ball. And it goes down to the fine leg region. They're going to go for two. And it's a. They get two. So a thick um, a leg glance gets them two runs there. It just trailed down the leg side. And that allowed the batsman to play the leg glance shot. He didn't play it very well. 
top edge, but he got two runs for it. And leaves it alone. Batsman very watchful. So if it's outside off, he leaves it alone. If it's down the leg side, he plays at it. And then he has to figure out what the line is, if it's at, aimed at the stumps, whether he should, what type of shot he should play. Comes into bowl and is aggressively hit. It's over the head of the, the mid off and mid on. They get two. And they're happy with two there. Now, it's coming in handy. Could they get to, to, to triple figures, Diamond Creek? And, ooh, that looked like a bit of a, um, a, a, um, a leg cutter. The ball um, sp uh, spun almost into the right hander. Comes into bowl. And defended. And it goes into the covers. Comes into bowl. And drives. And fielded in this short extra cover. Four runs off this over. That over, it's 87 for eight. into bowl and laid it off the back foot. This is the 70th over. Comes into bowl and drives it and fielded once again by the short extra cover. And tries to leg glance it to mid on for a dot ball. Comes into bowl and leaves it alone. Comes into bowl and leaves it alone again. Batsman is not tempted by those um, those angling across him. Even though there are two gaps there, there's a gap at cover point and a gap at extra cover that he could drive the ball into to get lots of runs. And leaves it alone again. And it's a maiden. 87 for 8 still.